of Berlin. Have you had some fresh blood? Yeah, last night was a very successful night. We went hunting through uh, the different bars and uh, found a few victims. Is it like in New Zealand? No, the blood has got a different accent. So I heard you planned your documentary for many years. Is there like a security leak or did they come over to you and ask you to do? People had tried before, but they had died. You know, I'm probably the bravest filmmaker in New Zealand because I'm not scared of anything. You know, when I met those vampires, it was um, it was very different to what I expected. They were very uh, they're very nice. I think they wanted their story to be told. There was the thing about it that really disturbed me because they looked like they became friends with werewolves and werewolves. Just well, you know, it's about tolerance. It's about understanding your enemy and seeing them in the way that you understand yourself. And seeing yourself in them and seeing a piece of them in you. So your documentary implies something? Well, it implies that uh, you shouldn't judge, you know, you shouldn't um, decide that you hate werewolves just because they smell like dogs and they urinate everywhere. Give people a chance. Get to know them. What do you think about the the Twilight people. Well, Twilight's a fantasy, isn't it? it sparkly just, vampires, come on. I sometimes feel like I sparkle. You might be using the wrong kind of makeup. So you don't think those are real vampires? Oh, Some... no, they're real vampires, but they're just real weak vampires. Shouldn't take them seriously. But the werewolves in Twilight, they're great. Those guys, I met those guys, they're great. Where are you guys from? Uh, far away, up north. I find you two very interesting, and this has been a very interesting discussion.